teamwork and collaboration were top priorities for maintenance and repair teams with the Mississippi Valley Division's St. Paul and Rock Island districts this fall as they worked to complete the mission. The two districts worked as a single team to reinstall a lock gate on the Mississippi River at Lock and Dam 5A near Fountain City, Wisconsin that was severely damaged during a towboat accident May 17th. Sharing equipment, experience, and a few laughs, the partnership started with the Rock Island District crew taking the damage gate back to their district following the accident. The team worked throughout the summer to make the necessary repairs to the gate. St. Paul District Maintenance and Repair Section Chief Scott Uld said the collaboration was valuable for both districts. You know, this is, this is how they do all their gate repairs, is they change out gates. So they're definitely the experts in this field. They have the right tools for it. Um, whereas we're probably more the experts in the dewatering field. So, um, you know, we're used to working on miter gates, but they're still in place just in a dewatered state. So it's a little bit different scenario, but vice versa, Rock Island is going into a dewatering this winter, which is not typical for them. So we're able to kind of share some things with them. That sharing of knowledge has allowed employees from both districts to gain additional skills. Will said he welcomed the opportunity to work with the Rock Island District crew. It was a really good opportunity, I think, for both sides to, um, for, for some of our guys that have done some work to miter gates, but never to this extent. Rock Island District Maintenance and Repair Section Chief Aaron Dunlap echoed Ool's comments. Dunlap said the teamwork was an opportunity to share equipment, experience, while getting the job done. We came up with the Quad Cities heavy lift cranes, the uh, largest and only uh, you know, heavy lift crane on the upper Mississippi River. Uh, arrived up here, uh, removed the gate, installed the spare gate, uh, took it back to our service base, uh, which is a process that we're pretty familiar with in Rock Island District. We do it on a fairly regular basis. Uh, tore that gate apart, installed uh, not, nine new I-beams, uh, new girders. Pretty much the entire center section of the gate was completely pulled apart and rebuilt uh, with all new steel components. With the repairs now complete, Dunlop said he thought working with his northern counterparts was a great chance to learn and share. It's a great opportunity to, to see different things and see how different organizations work. There's always ways that we can learn from each other and kind of build uh, on that. The more that we can work together and share assets regionally, uh, you know, the better off we are. Wool said the project was a great illustration of two districts identifying one problem and working together to solve it. It is uh, an awesome example of what what the core as a whole has, and maybe uh, you know, maybe some districts don't realize that their neighbor right next door has some of this expertise that that could be used. Reporting for the Corps of Engineers near Fountain City, Wisconsin. I'm Patrick Mose.